We're here about information and how we get it. So you have trust on one side and you have distrust on the other side. Two school sessions in which Demos explore pupils' online abilities in Liverpool. I was searching on Google. I didn't believe the first answer that came up, to be honest. <laughs> I know I shouldn't do it, but Google's like a trusted website. And in East London, where conspiracy theories are quickly raised. There was a documentary about this guy. He does his own research, finding out that um, in one of the FBI, you know, the building that got hit by a bomb, um, plane. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, it was a, not a plane, it was a missile from the army. Some pupils are internet savvy, others fall foul to the problems the think tank says are common. Demos brought together existing research and surveyed 500 teachers across England and Wales. Teachers are increasingly finding that their pupils are bringing into the classroom uh, conspiracy theories, misinformation, propaganda that they found on the internet. And what I think that means is that young people aren't really being taught enough about how to critically assess and evaluate the information that they're finding online. Demos want digital judgment to be a core part of the curriculum. They say teachers need the training and resources to do that. And they want parents to encourage their children to think more critically about the information they're seeing on the internet. I think we, we sometimes harbour too much on the negative aspects of the, the information that's available to them and less of the fact that it's been actually quite a liberating experience for lots of children to be able to have that uh, access to information. Oh, and they've come away believing they've been attacked by a vampire. At the end of the session, pupils are shown a faked news report about fox attacks. Even the more internet aware fall for it before being told it's a conspiracy theory. There's little debate over how influential the internet is on young people today. How negative that can be raises further questions. Katrin Nye, BBC News.